Barbersville has been fast, hard and fair. Tony Cavalier roaming the Barbersville fields today to see how some of the visiting soccer fans are enjoying their stay in West Virginia. It starts with an early morning flow of cars that goes until dinner hour. Destination Barbersville City Park. This pilgrimage started in a dozen eastern states from New England to our doorstep in Maryland and Virginia. Car license plates, a dead giveaway, the Eastern Regional Soccer Tourney is back in town. And with it comes 212 of the finest youth football clubs in America. Visiting from down East Maine, the Bernardinos, Marianne and Sam, representing the Seacoast United All-Stars from Portland. Yeah, I think it's really cool because it's a different experience from Maine, coming down to West Virginia and seeing all sorts of teams, and they're really good, really fun competition. We're just loving driving around and enjoying what we're seeing, hoping to visit some state parks while we're here. From the Empire State, we ran into the Beekman Warriors out of the Hudson Valley. Everybody here has been very, very, very welcoming and friendly. It's a beautiful, beautiful area. In from Connecticut, the Ole Soccer Club from Trumbull. Their fans using the Soccer Week as a sort of destination getaway. We saw Marshall University. We took the girls by the stadium there. Um, we also went to the arcade. We did some water park. Because as we go to these soccer <laughs> events and that becomes our vacation. So um, we make the most of it. We really try to get the best experience we can for the kids. Local teams of renown included the West Virginia Football Club out of Charleston, holding third-ranked Yardley of Eastern PA to a halftime nil-nil draw. The boys bleaching their hair blonde in a show of team spirit. Leave it up to the kids and their parents to join in the fun. Boys got together this year and decided that we were going to be the bleach blonde team, so we didn't have any hair, so we decided to try to fit in with everybody. Yardley fans not wants to hunker down in a hotel during the tourney. The town of Huntington is really cute, and um, it's so nice to wake up and be able to walk to Starbucks every morning. And we hit some live music last night on the square, so that was great. Finally, a lively message from the ladies of the CNY Club of Syracuse. Avalanche Regional Healthcare Weather Center. Here's